When the main parties signed the peace deal in 2018, there was one major armed group led by a former deputy chief of staff of the South Sudanese army named Thomas Cirillo, who rejected the peace deal and actually left the peace talks in 2018, saying that the peace deal didn't do enough to sort of um, directly address these interests and what he calls the root causes of the conflict. By the time we agree, uh, on any peace agreement, uh, it should be accepted by all and we bring sustainable peace to our people. He's now in, in exile in Europe and his fighters are continuing to fight um, in parts of this Equatoria region, which is the southern third of South Sudan. Um, he's very much preached something that looks much more like a federal system in South Sudan. And without sort of bringing these people into the peace settlement, you're going to continue to see large swaths of the country and some of its most fertile and strategically important areas um, in insecurity until that happens. The first major focus should be really having the two parties, both the government and Thomas Cirillo and his insurgents, really enforce the ceasefire that they've already agreed to. Step two is then finding a political path forward. You know, he's not going to overthrow the government and bringing it into a political process allows him to sort of build the bridges with other political allies in the country. And that's why bringing uh, these demands into a political process we think would, would be a more, uh, would be a better path forward for him than just continuing the insurgency.